Hello, welcome to another edition of Talking Sports and Fitness with Zeke. I'm Zeke, also known as Mike Zielinski. Back with me today is Maria Ortiz, who is a champion bodybuilder. Uh, in our second show, Maria, we're going to discuss some of the specifics of your training, your diet, and body image from a woman's perspective. Mm -hmm. let's, start, uh, let's start with the body image and then we'll get into how you got this great body. Uh, not everyone thinks you have a great body because there's, you know, there's such a, a cultural thing in our society that women have to be ultra thin, whatever. Uh, and you obviously never, you didn't have this type of body your whole life because you became serious training about a dozen years ago, 13 years ago, whatever. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you view yourself with the, in terms of the body image thing. Because I know not everybody is kind to you about your physique. Well, yeah, you know, um, even um, at, at the gym, you know, there's a lot of people, you have a lot of uh, positive, you know, right. comments. They, they say, oh, I, I would like to be like you, I would like to look like you. And there's all the people, they make comments that, you know, oh, that's disgusting, I don't like that, you know, that, that looks like a man. But, you know, I, those things, you know, I understand, and, and it's okay with me, you know, to whatever people says, use that negative stuff just to push myself, that, to improve myself. And, you know, you could do better, you know, you keep um, pushing yourself and not have a goal. And that's my goal, and I want to let people know, no matter what anybody says, it's what you like. You know, yeah. you cannot please everybody you know, regarding, you know, what you like, you know, and you have to understand, you know, you know, be, be realized that, you know, not everybody's going to like it. But the thing is, too, you know, I mean, we've all seen some women bodybuilders who are so immense. I can see the people say, man, that's not feminine at all. But you, you're not that big. And I think the fact that you were a physique uh, competitor first, you still have a lot of feminine lines along with muscularity. You kind of have the best of both worlds. So personally, I'm a little surprised that people are, some people are critical of you in terms, because you're not massive, you know? Well, too, you know, it depends, you know, how you, um, when, when I do shows, everything counts, you know, and I try to look feminine all the time. Yeah. You know, your makeup counts, your, your hair counts, you know, your jewelry counts. You know, everything counts in that show. It's not only that you have to look you're good in shape. Because you overall presentation. Yeah, you yeah. have to be a perform overall, you know, and everything yeah. counts. You know, like other people think, you know, it's something that, you know, that makes me even more to improve myself that I could do anything, you know. And I see myself that... Um, there's people that say, oh, you cannot get to that level. Yeah. Now let's, uh, let's go through the, some of the specifics of your training. You get up every day at 3.20. 3.20 a.m. And you do some cardio. Yes. Before you go to a cardio. And you mix your cardio up. Is it some running, swimming, biking, or what? No. Basically, what I do is I just do cardio. You know, I don't run because you, I want to keep my muscles. You know, there's a lot of people that don't think about. So how do you when get you your run. cardio? How do you get your cardio? Well, my cardio when I get up in the morning at 3:20 in the morning, yeah. I do one hour cardio, go take a shower, eat my breakfast, go to work. So you're doing a lot of dance routines as your cardio, or no, just cardio, just walking, oh, like just jogging. Walk. Oh, you're yeah. walking. Okay. Yeah, okay. walking or jogging. That's the basic. Well, I, but, okay, so you're jogging. And yeah. Stuff. Okay. So in the afternoon when I come from work. Yeah. Then, what time are you at work? Like seven or. No, I work um, six to two. Six to two. And then you come home from work and you do a couple things around the house and you're no. back in the gym. No, I, cooking. That's all I do, cook. You can't eat. eat, but you cook, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you have to cook for yourself. Yeah, I have to We're cook gonna for myself. We're going to get into your diet, which is yeah. amazing. But anyway, so you work out when you're heavy training at least three hours a day, cardio and you're lifting. Mm. And you work out at LA Fitness and Body Zone. Yes. And every day is a different body part, right? Every day is a different part of your body. Yes. Now, do you do, you do a mix of mostly free weights with a little bit of machine work? Yes, I do mix, you know, like yeah. free weights and machines. You now, know. do you do different, uh, obviously you probably do heavier weights at the time and then you do lighter weights uh, with higher reps. It's, I start with light weights yeah. and then I go higher, yeah. you know. It's all about it, the pump on, too. Exactly. Yeah. It's just um, more repetitions and I do four, five, six sets of one 
in specific versus eyes. Now, say you're working chest uh, on a given day. How many uh, different movements will you do? Different movements. Yeah. Sometimes I do like five or six different machines or even weights. So you're, you're, you're doing up to 36 sets possibly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and uh, you, don't do, you don't do chest for another 48 hours then? No. Mm -mm. So you do, no. do, what do you do? Do you do anything in conjunction with your chest? No, like one day, that day I do chest and I focus in chest and then I do abs and cardio. Okay, and then another day back, another I, day biceps, exactly. triceps. Exactly, yes. Did you do as many sets for your biceps and triceps to say you do your back and your chest? When, I, when it comes to biceps and triceps, we do 10 sets. Ten sets. Ten sets. More, more sets. More sets. Yes. Even though they're smaller body parts, but yes. are they the show? Is that because sets. they're showcase muscles? Yes, because well, I want yeah, to improve yeah. more my biceps and my triceps. Yeah. And the more sets you do, the more muscles you're gonna get. Yeah, you because see? the goal is always to get leaner and bigger, bigger and more muscular. Exactly. Okay, so you can do all this work. How much sleep do you get, by the way? Because well, sleep's important. Yes, it does. You know, you're supposed to sleep eight hours, but when it comes to the competition, I hardly sleep like four or five hours. Is that kind of productive to your bodybuilding and your mass building or not? No, it's not. You, you're supposed to rest, but I don't have the time. Yeah, I know. Okay. You know, when you don't have the time, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's so hard. All right, as a former self-acknowledged junk food eater, let's get into your <laughs> diet. I mean, it's hard work. I can see why you're cooking all the time. Yes. You're not cooking spaghetti. Tell us about it. Uh, Okay, when it comes to you the eat diet, all the time. you have to eat like six meals a day, right? Yes, basically yeah. I eat more like five. Okay. You know, as soon as I get up and I do my one hour cardio, I do my meal. Oh, I drink a protein shake. Then at 8.30 I eat my eggs. Then at 11.30 I eat my salad with chicken. Then uh, when I get home, I eat my salmon, broccoli, green beans, it could be, you combine it, um, spinach. Then when I go back in the, to the gym and work out after I come back, whatever meals I have, if I have brown rice or um, steak or like chicken breast or salmon or tilapia fish. And you need to eat this, this often for what? Two reasons. One, to build mass. But two, like if you eat too much at one sitting, it, it slows down your digestive system? Or? The, the thing is the, the more protein, the more important thing is eating protein to maintain your muscles and keep having more muscles. Yeah. That's the basically thing, you know. This is such a commitment. Uh, do you it get, is, it's a commitment, it, it's get, not easy. Do you ever get bored with the training and the diet? I do, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's, yeah. You get bored, you, there's some days I say, oh wow, I'm so hungry, you wanna eat all that food? And there's some days I go, oh my God, I have to eat this again. Do you ever have a cheat day? Yes. It, but if it's close to the competition, you don't. Yeah. Uh, do you, and you were telling me off air that you train intensely all the time, whether you're training for a specific contest or not, right? Yes. So you're I always don't. in shape. Yeah. Well, right now I'm not. Well, in terms of, of right now, you know, I'm out strict. of season. Yeah. 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 What do you look like when you're in season? <laughs> 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 You're getting a little bit more cut because the whole thing is to be more cut and striated so you yes. define the muscles. Yeah, the thing is, um, when you're in a diet, you're supposed to, you know, eat eat right all the time, do the cardio. The most important thing is doing cardio and drink a lot of water. You you're know? drinking and two gallons a day, right? Yes, that's really important. You must go to the bathroom all the time. Oh my God, believe me, even at work, they know me already, so yeah. they don't say anything. <laughs> but it's every half an hour I have to go to the bathroom. Wow. Because all drinking water, and it's really important. You want to lose weight, you have to eat right, you got to drink water, and also you have to, you know, do your exercise. Is the, the type of diet you're on expensive? Yes, it is. It's, yeah. not, it's not cheap, you know. It's just yeah. basically, you know, the healthy food is more expensive. When do you have time to play with your grandchildren? Well, I have my days, like every Fridays or Saturdays that I have the time, or even when my husband works sometimes second shift, because he have a rotating shift. Okay. So when he works second shift, it's more easy for me to get out of work, eat my meal, and go straight to the gym, work out, and when I get done, then I have the time with my granddaughter. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, you, you have professional uh, experience, I mean, ambitions. You want to get your pro card and compete, ultimately, 
in Miss Olympia, which is like the ultimate for uh, male and female bodybuilders. Uh, but you're looking for sponsors, is that true? Yes, I'm trying to look for a sponsor, you know, for next year's show. I'm trying to compete in September again for nationals. Now, with people who sponsor you, what do they get out of it? It's not like you can put a billboard on your back and say, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, well, State, you know, so. I could promote that, like the person who, there's sometimes they have supplements Okay. That you could promote the supplements, you know, and um, whatever, if they do it, you know, to motivate people also, you know, to do exercise, you know. It's really important because I hear some people say, oh, I'm too old. You know, you never, it's never too late and you're never too old. Yeah. That's a number. That's how I see it. And, you know, it, you have to motivate yourself to do exercise, and it's really important to, for your health also. And you have to take a lot of supplements as well. Yes, you have to take a lot of supplements, you know, vitamins. There's a lot of stuff that you have to take because when you're in a diet, you have to replace that, that food that you're not eating. What about the perception or perhaps misperception that all bodybuilders are on steroids? Well, you know, that's not everybody. There's a lot of shows in there that, you know, that um, they're natural. Yeah. You know, and I have friends also too. They they do shows natural. And they actually have na they have a competition where they test your warriors for yes, natural. Yes, they yeah. do. Yes, they do. Because uh, it's an uneven playing field for people who are not using steroids, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it, and it's you know it's it's, a, it's hard. You know, it's a lot of people think when they see you like that, they right away think that it's steroids. You know, you have to really kill yourself, and people they don't realize why you have to go through. Yeah. You know, like eating right all the time, being in the gym, and it's not easy when you have a full-time job, you know, and people, they don't realize you're not going to look like that, you know, <laughs> the way you're looking. Do you ever think, and, you know, then I'll let you go, uh, do you ever think it would be a lot easier just to play golf? Well, that's not my type, you know, <laughs> sport, <but laughs> I don't know how that gonna work yeah. to be in shape. <laughs> well, I admire your, your work ethic. It's unbelievable. And uh, congratulations on your past success. Hopefully you get a sponsorship and you can get your professional career uh, ongoing. And uh, when you see me work out the gym, don't laugh at me. Okay? No, I will, I will. I try to help you out. <laughs> okay. All right, this is uh, Zeke saying goodbye for Marie Ortiz and myself on Talking Sports and Fitness. Take care. These community stories are made possible in part by BCTV, Susie Ray Design, Queen City Family Restaurant, Lamar Advertising, Heidelberg Family Restaurant, Reading Air, Lions and Hole, Peanut Bar, and Kutztown University.